I oppose the Keystone XL pipeline because it will bolster the destruction of enormous tracts of boreal forest in Canada. I oppose the Keystone XL pipeline because it will put thousands of frontline communities along the pipeline route at risk of water and air pollution. I oppose the Keystone XL pipeline because it will release unprecedented amounts of greenhouse gases and end all hope of combating climate change. We are the Great March for Climate Action, a community of concerned citizens who are marching 3,000 miles from LA to DC to inspire action on the climate crisis. And one of our major objectives is to convince President Obama to stop the Keystone XL pipeline. We stand in solidarity with the Cowboy Indian Alliance, a coalition of frontline farmers, ranchers, and tribal communities at risk of displacement because of the pipeline cutting through their homes. This Earth Day, they're arriving in Washington, D.C. and camping in front of the White House to demonstrate their refusal to let their lands be destroyed. And on Saturday, April 26th, thousands will join them in D.C. to march and deliver a hand-painted teepee to President Obama to symbolize their hope that he will reject the Keystone XL pipeline and their promise to protect their land should he allow it to move forward. To show our support for this action called Reject and Protect, we're staging a five-day week of actions. On Tuesday, April 22nd, as the Cowboy Indian Alliance arrives in DC on horseback, marchers and virtual marchers will create videos directed to President Obama telling him why they oppose the Keystone XL pipeline. Videos can be sent to info at climatemarch.org. In addition, marchers will pick up trash along the roadside as they walk in celebration of Earth Day to show their love for the Earth and their commitment to a cleaner future. On Tuesday, April 23rd, marchers will sign Credo's Keystone XL Pledge of Resistance that states, I pledge, if necessary, to join others in my community to engage in dignified, peaceful civil disobedience that may result in my arrest in order to send the message to President Obama and his administration that they must reject the Keystone XL pipeline. On Thursday, April 24th, marchers will write letters to President Obama voicing their solidarity with the Cowboy Indian Alliance and urging him to reject the Keystone XL pipeline. On Friday, April 25th, Marchers will spend a day in silence in solidarity with those living on the pipeline's route who have been silenced by big oil. On Saturday, April 26th, as the rally proceeds in DC, marchers will conclude their five days of action with a day of fasting to demonstrate the consequences of land destruction on basic human needs. In addition, we will have an hour-long solidarity vigil by candlelight. Show your support by attending the Reject and Protect rally in D.C. on Saturday, April 26th. And become a virtual marcher by engaging in our five-day week of actions. On Tuesday, pick up trash and send a video to info at climatemarch.org stating why you oppose the Keystone XL pipeline. Sign the Keystone XL Pledge of Resistance on Wednesday. Write a letter urging President Obama to reject the Keystone XL pipeline this Thursday. Spend a day in silence this Friday. And fast on Saturday. Together we will stop the Keystone XL pipeline and pave the way to a future free of fossil fuels.